Hello there, welcome back to another edition of Pimp My Filter. And in this episode, I've got a mystery filter. I did get told what was being sent up to me a good few days ago. And this only arrived yesterday. I can't remember who it was from or what the filter was. So when I take it out of its packaging, it'll be a surprise to me as it is to you. Remember now. It is an Aqua One Ocellaris eight fifty canister filter. Right, now this one is a one that's just come straight from the manufacturer again. So as far as I know, it's never been used. this is a welcome surprise because this one is to be used on a marine tank. I will be using it on a 245 litre marine tank. And for you guys in the US, 245 litres is approximately 64 to 65 US gallons. Now what does this say it's suitable for? Right, this is a common mistake made by 99.9% .9 of people that buy filters. It's going to be using it on a 245 litre marine tank. This is recommended for between 150 to 250 litres. So I'm already thinking this is half as big as it needs to be. But we'll see. Now before I open it up and let you have a look inside, I'll just give you a few facts and figures. It's called the 850 and that's because it pumps 850 litres per hour. Obviously that is with nothing in and with no pipes attached. You can knock that down quite a lot between 40 and 50 percent by the time you get this filled up and pipes put in with bends and all sorts and you lift the pipes back up into your tank. So 850 litres an hour isn't a huge flow especially for a marine tank which would generally require quite a flow and a good turnover rate. It's only 14 watts, the maximum lift is only 1.3 meters which isn't much and compared to the last Aqua One filter that we took a look at which was the Aquis 1250 series 2, this one is manufactured a lot more cheaply. The plastic looks a hell of a lot thinner, more brittle, the pipes aren't as wide. Um, so initial inspection of it is making me think I would have gone for the Aquas range 100%. Now this is obviously manufactured to a lower price point so you do have that to take into consideration you know. Okay now these filters are available in a UV version and a non-UV version. That's normally where the UV light would go. This one is the non-UV version. Because of that, there would normally be a tube attached to here with the UV in. And that's where the water would pass over on its way down to the bottom of the filter and rise up and be sucked out through our pump and blown back out to the tank. Now instead of making different sized trays, We've still got the same trays, as if there's a big pipe going down here with a UV in, so we've got all that wasted space. So if you are going to go for these, I would say go for the UV version, at least that space will be used with something useful. Do you know, after seeing how good that last Aqua One filter is, this one is a let down straight away. I'm, ugh, this, we've got about an inch wasted space all the way around there. There you go, look at that. Anyhow, let's get into the trays. Now this has been used. It's a little bit wet. Now the bottom has got some space. We've got approximately an inch deep in here. So really we've got about an inch gap 
underneath the trees. That's good because we can fill that with something that'll settle out the heavy muck before it rises up and hits our foams. Okay, that's in the wrong place, that's in the wrong place. I'm just going to take this stuff out and show you what is in the three trees. I do like the idea that these trees clip together and these fittings actually feel a little bit more secure than say the likes of the Eheim Pro 4 range which are quite brittle. Now that isn't a bad media, that's sintered glass media from Aqua One, they actually do pretty good media. Yeah, that's good stuff. Oh, got quite a nice coarse pad in there as well, and a nice coarse pad in there. Don't need the one in the second tray, so we'll take that out. That might actually be a little bit too coarse, that. Yeah, I think that's a little bit too coarse. I think we'll substitute that for a one that's a little bit finer. God. Whoa. Yeah, in fact, that one that I took out earlier on, that's about what you want as far as a coarse pad goes. You can just about see through it, so that's good. That can go in there. We don't have a medium one. Do we have space for a medium one? Maybe. Yeah, that doesn't need to be that thick. Let's get a medium one cut for here. Just about squash into there, I think. Tell you what, let's just rip that in half. We don't need it to be as thick as that. Okay. Right. That gives us our coarse, medium, and fine foams in the bottom tray. So the water's going to come up, hit coarse, medium, fine. Then it's going to be into two trays of filter media. Now in both of these media trays combined, we've got approximately 1.8 kilos, which is about four pound for you fellas in America. That's about four pound of Biohome Ultimate Marine. And that's about as much as we can get in there. We could have gone with the bio gravel marine, but it might have slowed the flow down a little bit because it's quite a big area to fill with such a tightly packed media. That shouldn't slow the flow down. Okay, so in the bottom of there, we're gonna use our old standby media, which is the Eheim Mech. That's a small, hard ceramic ring. It's really, really good at settling the flow out and catching heavy muck. And that saves the foams in our bottom tray from getting blocked quite so quickly. Right, now I'm short of that. So here we're going to use some fluval rings. They do pretty much the same job, they're just a little bit bigger. And they'll also do a bit of biological action as well because they are porous. And we still need more stuff, so we're going to use a little bit of JBL Micro Mech. It's not a ring, so it isn't ideal, but it will fill the gaps in. There you go. Hopefully you can see now when the water comes in, it'll spread out all over the place. A lot of the heavy muck will just settle out in that media and that'll save our foams from getting clogged. So now we'll just drop our trays back in. Like so. Put that on the top. Like 
like that. Wonder whether that would go in there. Yeah, I don't think that would do any good, but at least it fills in that little gap. Right, now I didn't use the Aqua One sintered glass rings because it seems a little bit of a shame to use those in the bottom. They are actually a decent media. Same with the sintered glass lumps as well. They are good. In fact, there's no real reason why we couldn't have used either of those or both of those in the main trays. I went for the Biohome Ultimate Marine because it's got the added trace elements which allow it to set up ridiculously fast. We know exactly how much it takes for certain situations and we're after a full cycle. Unfortunately, between those two trays, it only took 1.8 kilos, which is about four pound. Now, because the marine system generally takes more media in order to support more bacteria to get that full cycle, it could take anywhere between 1.5 kilos to two kilos per 100 liters to deliver that full cycle in a marine system. So really this, because it only holds 1.8 kilos in total, may only be suitable for a marine tank of around about 100 litres. And that's about 26 gallon. So that's well under what the manufacturer recommends. Especially seeing as Andrew actually took advice before he bought this. Uh, actually that advice was not off me. He took advice off a shop as to what size filter he would need. Um, I mean, if a filter says it'll treat up to 250 litres, you can halve that for a normal situation, you know. This is too small for his situation. But if he uses another one alongside it, it may be okay. That's about as efficient as it's going to get. All the muck is going to be held in the bottom. And we've put as much media in there as we can. And when I've been handling this, I've realised that the plastic, whilst it, it looks cheap, it actually has a decent quality feel to it, so it's deceptive. The fittings are actually pretty good. It's well made. I do still prefer the Aquis range. I'm not sure whether they still make those or not. I think they do. But given the choice of Aquis or Ocellaris, both from Aqua One, I would say go with the Aquis one every single time. It holds more, it's a better shape, and it's better designed, it's better made, in fact, the Aquis is a better filter all round. This is okay. I know they're manufactured to a price point. So, you, you know, you're going to get concessions there. One thing I do like about this, though, is the little rubber feet on the bottom. So, when this is working, it should be quiet. You should get very little vibration from it. And another thing I'll commend Aqua One on as well is not only making decent products to a good price point, they're one of the few companies that actually supply good filter media with the filters. There's not enough, but it's good stuff. This random shaped sintered glass stuff is quite similar to grow stones in that it's very porous, but it's very brittle, so it breaks up pretty easily, but it is a good porous media. And Aqua One have always made decent rings if it wasn't for that hole through the middle, they would have a chance of supporting anaerobic bacteria. So they're a good ring. Certainly a million miles better than any ceramic ring. And the Aqua One foams and pads are always a decent quality as well. Okay, Aqua One Ocellaris 850, a reasonable filter, holds a reasonable amount of media. There's an issue there with the wasted space. It's not, in my eyes, as good as the previous range which was the Aquis, um, but nonetheless, it's a decent budget filter. Just make sure you get one that's the right size for your tank. So for example, if it says will be suitable for up to 400 litres, you know for a fact it's going to be for a normal tank of around 200 litres. You would always halve it. The Aquis range is a little bit different. I'll put a link to the Aquis 1250 that we took a look at. That one is actually undersold by Aqua One. I think they recommended it would be for about a 250 litre tank, but it actually held four kilos of media. It was, it was a Kraken filter. Anyway, I don't want to start talking about that because this video is about the Ocellaris. Yeah, check it out. Video description. 
for the links and also pinned comment for the links. If you've got a filter you want to send me, by all means get in touch. My details, as always, are in the video description and in the pinned comment. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Oh, and if you've got one of these and you've set it up differently, by all means put that in the comment section and let me know how it's working for you.